In this video, we'll demonstrate applying statistical process control techniques for charting multiple grades in a Seek Workbench analysis. We'll create an eye chart for each grade in the process signal, including capsules for run rules 1 and 6. We'll approach this in four main steps. Identify grades, create average and limit signals for each grade, apply boundaries using the limit signals, then create run rule violation capsules. The SEEK tools we will use are Value Search, Formula, and Deviation Search. Step 1. We'll identify the grades by creating a capsule for each using the Value Search tool. Step 2. We write three formulas for average, upper limit, and lower limit. Each formula calculates the average and limits for each grade. As part of this step, we also need to identify process periods where the process is running as expected. We'll use those periods as the reference periods to calculate the average and limits. In this example, we're using a contiguous period. Non-contiguous capsules may be used with equal or different weights per period. Step 3. We'll use formula to create the 1 and 2 sigma lines. Before we apply the run rules, let's focus on grade A. Step 4. Now we can use deviation search to create capsules for each run rule 1 violation. We'll also use condition functions in formula to create capsules for each run rule 6 violation to detect small, high, and low shifts. In our final view, we can see there are no run rule 1 violations. There are four run rule 6 violations, alternating small, high shifts and small, low shifts in the process variable. When we look at other time periods for grade A, the I chart limits and run rules are applied. The limits may be updated by updating the reference period in the limits formula. This is one example of SPC charting in Seek. With Seek conditions, more analysis can be done including identifying run rule violations by work shifts, day, night, or any other period of interest. Thank you for watching. 